Welcome back. You're with the news at one. And as you heard in the bulletin, police in South Africa have opened a murder investigation after an Irish charity worker was found dead in Cape Town. The body of John Curran was found in his apartment yesterday. Now, a man who knew John Curran well and who's here in studio is David Ruddy, president of the Irish Primary Principles Network. Um, commiserations, David Ruddy. I, I didn't know John Curran, but just looking at, at, at the life he lived from a principal, pri- primary principal here to working with Mellon Educate in South Africa, he seems to be a man who left a lot of good behind him. Absolutely, Anya, and thank thank you for having me on the programme. I, I've known John for over 20 years, firstly as principal of the Good Shepherd Primary School in Churchtown, and then as founder of our organisation, IPPN. John was a visionary, and despite the fact he was an exemplary leader, uh, he wanted supports for school principals and deputies. We were working in isolation at the time in our schools, so he was one of the founding members of our organisation, Uh, And he went on to help us set up supports for school leaders. And thankfully, we're thriving there and it has been a help to many, many people. Uh, He was also PRO uh, for organisations, so he would be in touch regularly with organisations like your own. Um, On a personal level, uh, he had an infectious uh, smile, lovely sense of humour, and uh, he would bring levity to the most serious uh, possible Mm -hmm. topic. But, you know, when he retired, rather than taking it easy... He embarked uh, on several different uh, other projects and the most recent one being the Mellon Educate. And what he did there was uh, he organised groups of principals and teachers during their summer holidays to come over and to recycle, as it were, a a lot of items that we would have surplus. So teachers and principals would go over with suitcases full of um, library books. Uh, They would bring IT programmes and then they would engage the schools uh, with the teachers and principals there to try to give them uh, a leg up. Uh, And um, I I was privileged last year uh, to be over with them and to see the work that was happening on the ground. Uh, And um, the the, the children sang Molly Malone uh, for us all when we were there, uh, just in advance of of the All-Ireland. So he very much loved... um, but very dynamic Mm -hmm. and um, he always wanted to give back and and particularly in relation to leadership and at our annual conference last January he brought over the Western Cape Minister for Education uh, to our conference and engaged with the then Minister Richard Bruton so really an incredible guy. He sounds like an incredible guy as you say. What did John Curran say to you about his work in South Africa about what it meant to him? Um, he he said he found it very rewarding uh, and equally very challenging. And uh, it's only when one goes into the townships mm-hmm. to see uh, what was there. And he quoted Nelson Mandela when Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. And John lived and embodied every piece of that mm-hmm. statement. Did he ever talk to you about the security situation there, about feeling unsafe? Was that an issue for him at all? Or are you aware of? I don't think it was. Um, he did give us, uh, on our trip there, he would give us tips, uh, you know, where to go and where not to go. But um, he was a very uh, laid back sort of guy and loved life hugely and um, passed that on with ease. And so sad that the fact that the circumstances uh, appear to have been what they were and police now investigating. Uh, John Curran had also known sadness as well and personal loss uh, in his own family. He had. uh, Back in 2010, uh, one of his sons, Owen, died tragically in a sailing accident uh, in New York. And, um, you know, obviously that was a huge blow uh, to Liz and his uh, his two other sons and daughter. Uh, and, um, and it, you know, there was always a sadness uh, when it was mentioned or that. But uh, he threw himself into projects and he has had the consolation of having grandchildren. And I think that certainly ignited uh, the spark, uh, you know, that was so alive in him. Thank you so much for talking about your friend to us in this way. It's lovely to hear him spoken about and to have his his legacy and his his memory uh, spoken about in in that way. And commiserations to all his friends and to his family. David, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Anya. That's David Ruddy, uh, the president of the Irish Primary Principals Network, uh, talking about the passing of former principal, uh, school principal John Curran, who was found dead in his apartment in South Africa yesterday.